Oh, look what we've got. Aren't what you is, just excited, Tim? Is, is that what I brought in yesterday? <laughs> do you see what I did? You know, we aren't allowed to show the inside. So do you see I taped it shut? Because sometimes uh -huh. in our excitement, it's hard to just not flip through it. My <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> and Tim is happy to mail you one if you are not currently working with a demonstrator. You just go to karentitus.com and there's a place for catalogs. I also put the link in the description. If you're currently working with another demonstrator, ask them for your catalog. So I really only like to send them the people who um, are thinking they might want to order something through me. So thank you for appreciating that. Uh, anyway, we're going to do a walkthrough, not of the catalog. We're just going to look at new products that I could pre-order, which Karen is really exciting. Two big boxes. So the only quick announcements first are you can always find the host code on my website at karentitus.com. And it's on my Facebook page. It's all over. Uh, and you know that discontinued list, it is, oh, things are selling out. And the card kit for this month is three fun cards. This is one of them. Better show it the right way. <laughs> it is. So you get the PDF. You get all the supplies to make the card. That's my thank you for orders $50 or more. She, she just makes them. She doesn't operate them. <laughs> yeah. This, this is a, uh, well, it's hard to operate them and show the camera. <laughs> this is um, uh, a split easel card. So isn't that cool? Uh, and so you get the PDFs and all the supplies other than words. You just find your own words because everyone has words. And otherwise, the supplies are all included. And my last comment is a week from this Sat. Uh, no, it's not this. It's not Saturday. I've changed it. But the All Good Cards Club this month is going to be Karen's Quilt Cards. Now, Karen's Quilt Cards are all going to be simple. They're going to be using squares and strips. And I'm just going to, here's a sneak peek of like two of them, but they're all going to be really fun. So whether you're a quilter, if you're not, I know you have friends that are. And quilts just speak comfort. Uh, just the message of quilts are perfect. Of course, you can modernize them. You can do anything with them. But we love to take ideas and run with them. So it's only $15 a month to join us in our monthly club. Can I just suggest, just show up every Saturday morning. In, in case, in, oh, okay. no, eventually, no, in case, no, no, but it is the date has changed. It's on a Tuesday, so it's not going to oh. work <laughs> because we have a women's retreat. But anyway, things are changing. It's all good. So thanks, you guys. So um, let's get started. Let's. I'm gonna. Okay, okay. you're gonna move over there and then be able to hand me things as we need. So yes. Yes. we're gonna start with bundles, but not bundles, but uh, sweets. So this is going to be the first suite of products. This is Cheerful Daisies. Now, I love daisies. And look at these dyes. Okay, I'm really excited about this one. I just think, and I see a card kit. And one of my monthly card kits being something of this, because this is going to be an easy dye, I think, to work with that can stand alone. I'm always looking for those for card kits. And these are just gorgeous. So then we have these beautiful accents. And let's look at the paper. So we're going to go through the paper one at a time. I went through and flipped. And okay, look at how fun this is. You're going to cut these things apart and just make some really quick and easy cards. Ooh. So it's uh, two-sided. So I'm showing, you know, um, one of each. And I love how Stampin' Up! does this. A lot of, it's often one side will be colorful and much busier for your focal point. And then the flip side is often... Um, something softer to layer with it. I thought you were going to say drab. Well, no, but you know, like softer, like you wouldn't whoa, necessarily whoa, want, whoa. isn't that gorgeous? Love, love these that. colors. Uh, yeah. I could fussy cut these. So I just see a lot of potential here. Cause you know, I also look at paper for fussy cutting. Mm. So I think these are fun. I think this is just an amazing set. And I'm guessing the dyes will cut out some of these. I don't know. Cause you know, I haven't had time to so play yet. Oh, you got them. See, I've, I You've already, already flipped them, them. them. So we can see all 12 sides. Here's another one that is just stunning. We'll put is. Gorgeous cards. Scrapbooking. I mean, what a beautiful page just like that. So I think this is going to be a real favorite. Okay, so that Dang. is one. And you're going to just put them on the floor. <laughs> or wherever you can find it. Yes. Yes, my assistant for the day. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, here's going to be the next suite. This is beautiful balloons. We always love birthday cards. 
And this is some fun words. Let's see. I think it's time for celebration. Let's get our celebration on. I love that there's a curb stamp, so it'll go around the balloon. I think that's really fun. And then this is a two-step. So thrilled for you. Yay, you. You did it. Oh, and the dies. Oh, I forgot to open one of the dies. I think it's the only one. So we'll do this one live. Pull out the dies. And look, so we can do bundles of balloons. Oh, this can be really fun. This will be interesting. We'll see what we can do with it. Ooh. So now we're going to look at the paper. So there's six by six, really colorful. I'm just going to spread these out. Um, all kinds of colorful. These just look like celebrations, don't they? Mm -hmm. All kinds of striped stars. All, all kinds of cool papers. And in really fun, bright colors. Yeah, these colors are really fun. The colors um, blue, but they're just circles. Yeah, these look like a lot of the new colors. Yeah, perfect. And then it also has these. Ooh. So that's going to be fun. And, you know, birthday cards are for many people the number one card that they make. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is so fun. Okay. And then, that's good okay, this is adorable. Oh, and we, I, we all have birthdays, like, you know. Yes. And they keep coming around. Yes, we do. Okay. Talk about adorable. Just or stinking cute as people talk about. Look at this zany zoo. Look, these just, this is just hilarious. And we've got something great to celebrate you. You're too wonderful. But these these are just cute. And look at the dies. I'm guessing these dies are going to fit some of the paper too. I'll, I'll let you know when I play with it. We've got two ribbons that go with it. So it's a pack of two. And now we're going to look at these. Anteater? Ant yep. Or an aardvark? I'd say it's an anteater. I don't know. You guys vote. What do you think? How adorable are these? And look, we've got roller skating. We've got, uh, um, Skate what do you call Skateboard, no, little no. scooters. Those are, what are those? Bicycles. Um, they're, they're, they're scooters, I think. Yes, so I think we have them. And then the back sides are black and white. So see, that would be really cool together. Mm -hmm. I think that is adorable. So let's look at all these, a whole bunch of them. Now we've got a camping page. Oh, look <laughs> at that. Look at the pig with the backpack and the. Oh, are these adorable? <laughs> oh, people are voting anteater. Okay, it's an anteater. See what mm -hmm. I know? Okay, yeah, that's, <laughs> I think that's what I voted for. I don't remember even. Okay, but how cute is that? Catching butterflies, little trees. I cannot wait. I don't know which one I'm going to work with first. This weekend, I plan to start working with one of these and I haven't figured out. Oh, and then for the dancers, look at that. <laughs> I haven't even, <laughs> look at that, look at Oh, how cute for all the little dancers in our lives. Now, See? why are some colored and some not? It's just artsy. Artsy. So yeah. how much, what they've left white and what they left colored. Now, you can always add, like if you wanted the yeah. hippo, you could always add uh, it in smoky slate or in a light gray. So we could add any of these to make more colors. Mm. So, But it's also an artistic thing. So I'm glad you asked that, to just color part of something. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we think when we... Stamp an image, we have to color the whole thing. And this is just showing us, no, you don't. You can accent the parts you want. And this one is just about all color. Mm -hmm. Yep. But if you want a different color, yeah. too, too, you could do that too. So very fun. Oh, and look at the musicians. Oh, this is just adorable. I love all of these. Look at that. Screen Tim was always a wannabe accordion player. Look, and the, the oh, that is, that is fun. And then the singing. <laughs> oh, that, okay, this is. Abs, I, I just envision all kinds of really cute cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one. Yep. Since so, so they're all black and white, which is just a fun. We can always use black and white. Oh, and okay. All the, okay, here's one for most of us on this here. You got that? We've got the bakers, the artists, those of us that do the art, the readers. Oh, my goodness. Um, the, the meditators, the, uh, I love this with the art. And, oh, and the crocheting or the knitting, the knitting. Mm -hmm. Think of all the people in your life you'll send these to. This is adorable. How many junior high boys knit? Well, some it's do. A, ours it's did. a thing. No, it is a thing. It I know. It's thing. become a big thing to teaching. And I did teach all of our kids to knit. Yep. Um, and so when our son was, uh, I think he was, I don't know, maybe 11. And he sewed the Halloween costume that he wanted. And his friends were just amazed. But he couldn't find it in the store. I mean, he wouldn't have found it in the store. So I said, make it, you know, and he did. Figured it out. 
Oh, and look at this. And then a <laughs> celebration. We have juggling, going to a party. Okay, this is going to be hugely popular. I mm -hmm. think this is totally fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> elephant, elephant and tutu. Yes. And I think, you know, generally I was, I like to say, um, Linda's saying she's not usually a cutesy animal thing, but she likes these. You know what I love about these is they're kind of adultish cutesy too. It's mm -hmm. not, they don't look like something you would only send to a preschooler. Um, I, cause I just think, I think they're very clever cutesy cause I'm kind of the same. I don't send a mm -hmm. lot of cutesy cards unless it's to little kids, but I would send these. I think these are really fun. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. And then the fourth suite that we have is this one. And of course, we love our layered dies. So this is Countryside Corners. And do you see all the dies that go with this? And these have all kinds of different um, stamps uh, or um, stitching. So this is kind of a real stitchery look. And oh, and, and oh, oh, I guess I didn't go with that. In color dots, which we're really going to show you later. But and then a countryside embossing folder. Okay, I am in. For the quilting things, I gotta use some of this paper to make some some extra ones. I actually have the projects all done, but I gotta make some more because I'm looking at this and I see quilts all over this. Okay, so we're gonna look at these. You know, and blue and white is just so popular. Okay, look at these cute bunnies. Ooh. Oh, that's really fun. And time for Easter. And look at these. Uh, they look cuter in paper than in our yard, I will say that. Oh, and we've got the birds. And I love the backgrounds, too. I, you know, the, the back sides of these look really pretty. And then a very soft look. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Old, old fashioned wallpaper. Oh, and we've got fox. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like this. This looks like um, one of my favorite quilts is a men's print from the 40s. And some of this reminds me of the blues, blues from there. And look at this with the trees. Oh, mm. this is stunning. And little flowers. Oh, how cool. All right. So those are four sweets. And then we're going to go to bundles. Don't you just love that uh, we Stampin' Up! brought circle punches back? So they have a two inch and a two and a quarter, I believe. And now they've added a two and three eighths, which is perfect because I love using circle punches. And look at this new stamp set to work with the circle. So you can easily layer these. This is really, okay. because you're awesome, warm hello, smile today, happy birthday. And I love this uh, celebrate. One of the stamp sets that is retiring. I think it's the flowering tulip says this thank you that's in a circle that I have used so much because I love words in a circle. This is going to be awesome for birthdays. And look, you can put a little cupcake inside. And then these curved words sending you a uh, thinking of you. How about what sending you a smile or yeah. sending you a is there... sending you a thank you, sending you thank a you. smile. Okay. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? And I like this. Isn't that a fun thing to put in a little circle accent? Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. Love that. And then we have one, another really cute, cutesy set with a punch. So we do love our punches. And if, you know, if you do stuff with kids, punches are so great too. Punches are also great to take on vacation or if you don't have a dye machine or don't want to haul it. Look at how fun this is. So this is, I'm bananas about you. Just swinging by to say hi, little monkey. So little monkey cards would be really cute for kids. So this is a, so that's very fun. Okay. Uh, well, we didn't have circles. Some uh, question about the circle punches. Stampin' Up! just reintroduced. They had circle punches a long time ago and they just brought back two sizes. So now that's three. And, you know, we have dies. So I've been using dies instead, but I love to have punches to make quick cards. So I'm thrilled. We have three sizes now. Um, and, you know, and, and again, just a reminder, um, Sign up to get the catalog you know, to see all these things yourself. So uh, I have them on order. So I'm going to come. Okay, Tim, this could be a stamp set for me for sure. Look at this. Oh, yes. This is so fun. Lazy days. I don't know if I'd call my days lazy when I go out. <laughs> no. But <laughs> but look, so this is like a porch. We've got the porch railing. We've got the deck. Yep. The deck. We've got the rocking chair. Uh, 
two parts to the rocking chair. So a two step and we've got the, the lemonade and the stand. Oh, this is fun. The flowers, the hanging flowers. Okay, I love this. Home is where a story begins. It's always a good day when you take time for yourself. It's always a good day when we spend time together. Ooh. Friends, back, thanks. Welcome. Oh, fun. I mean, some decks yeah, actually at, have rails around them? Yeah, our, ours doesn't because it's slowing up to the ground. But I, I just, oh, I see a lot of, I definitely need to play with this card because this is me. I think that sounds perfect for me. And I love this one too. Seasonal branches. I just Ooh. like anything with the birds and the branches and nature things. Cute little bird. And look at these fun dyes. Huh, that's You're in my thoughts. Get well. Sending an abundance of, oh, I love this. May you feel sheltered in the love that surrounds you. Oh, that that's makes nice. nice. Sympathy, getting well cards, things like that. I think that that's really pretty too. I'm a little confused what these are. Are they? Well, they would fit under the branches. Oh, okay. So see, they could be flowers, berries, which you fit in with the leaves. Okay. So you'd stamp this, the leaves, then this. Yep. Isn't that cool? And then you can just add a few random ones when you want. Ooh, those are those are fun. That is fun. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, Janet said she's going to use the bronze blender and make sweet tea to put in those lemonade glasses because she's in the South. That's right. I am not a sweet tea fan, but I bet there are a bunch of you on here. I am a tea fan. I just like it straight. <laughs> Timeless arrangements. Oh, this is interesting. And this also, I look at this and think, oh, this is going to make some interesting things that you don't need the stamps for because, you know, my mind is going there. But look at all these words. Timeless arrangements. Your kindness means everything to me. You're my everything. You make me smile. You're so kind. I really appreciate you for always being there. You're the best. Um, hope your day is filled with everything good. For always believing in me from the bottom of my heart. Well, there's some really nice things that you can say about me here. Oh, sure. You can make yourself a card, Tim. <laughs> I could. Okay. Oh, that, that's going to be fun. So keep telling me what your favorites are. I think after this on my Facebook page, I'm going to put up a choice of two stamp sets and let people vote what I should make a card for this weekend. I'll make a card and put it up. Okay, crafters, here we go. Love this one, too. Oh, I said this is so... So awesome. Look, we've got the uh, we've got the card makers, the artists, the sewers, and the quilters, the knitters, Ooh. the crocheters. Life is better when you're crafting with love. Sending you a handmade hug and baskets. You inspire me. Ooh, those are wonderful. Those are wonderful. Oh, and this is a million dollar. Um, I just noticed that now sales achiever Irene Wendlandt. It was her input into this. Look at those cute scissors. Yep. I just, oh, okay. I, I love it in the basket. Oh, this, okay, just fun. <laughs> I think we should see a lot of those in the crafters thing. So, okay, so I'm gonna pick two of my favorites when this is done and then ask what I should work with. Let's see, Beauty of the Deep. We always like things to do with the sea. So this is cool. We've got the anchor and the fish like that. And what's that, Karen? Did you step on one of those? Uh, I, I stepped on something that was pretty awful and couldn't walk for the rest of the cruise. <laughs> and then wonderful thoughts. So this is one of those. this was another um oh no, these are all little separate ones. These are separate dies. I was wondering if it was like that one that we have. They all come together. So look at all these different dies to put in here. Oh, th okay, this is fun. And let's um you're wonderful, you're loved, you matter. You've come so far and accomplished so much. It's okay to fall apart. I'm still here for you. So happy you're my person. This is only the beginning of a life filled with love. I'll listen to your silence when words are just too much. I like that one. Okay, so very, just wait. okay, yes. Vicky's wondering why so many photopolymer sets? Well, for one thing, I don't really know because this is just the pre-order. So I don't know about the rest of the catalog, but I know photopolymer are my favorites. I don't know. So maybe it's based on sales, but I don't know because I haven't studied the catalog. So I'm just winging it here. I just don't know. But especially with words, I love it when you can see through to see where to put the words. So I'm happy about that. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Does that sentence right there fit into that? Yes. Frame? Look at, yes. Is that cool? cool? It's very cool. 
That was very good. And I would definitely stamp first and then put the diet on. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Nice. Like then, that. oh, so these are the in colors. Okay. Now I need the stack of papers on the floor because oh, there's do? lots of. I've already lost new colors. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. We'll pause while we wait for Tim. <laughs> okay. First, okay. we're going to look at, you know, there is a color change. So. And the colors that are leaving, I had a post up about that, but um, okay, I'm gonna start with this. Um, because they're only available while supplies last. So just make sure you get anything you want now. And then Fresh Freesia is staying. So they have it as a returning color, but it is also a current in color that would have been retiring, but it is staying. And I use this color so much. I love it for layering. I love it having some more of the soft colors to put like on your inside layer on a card. And then the rest of these are, well, I guess these are new. So Tim just mixed these up. Okay, these are going to be the brand new ones. Okay, I'll blame Tim. Okay. okay. Lemon Lolly, which is really a fun, um, soft, it's very lemony. It is very lemony. And then we have Pecan Pie. This reminds me a little bit of- it's Brown. Of the, uh, what is that brown that we used to have? Boy, I'm seeing a lot of shadows in here. It must be the, I'm not, well, I guess it's, it's reflecting, but I guess we'll have to live with that. <laughs> uh, but I like that. And bubble bath. And we've been wanting just a really soft, true pink, you know, kind of more of a, kind of a fun. So that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then Azure Afternoon, which is also pretty. And of course I have the ink pads and the blends and, uh, to go with them, oh, we're not, but we're just going to show them. Yes. Nice. And then some returning favorites. I am thrilled to have this one back. I really have missed this one. I love lemon lime twist. Um, I was, uh, okay. I'm just trying to find, <laughs> find something. Uh, pretty peacock is coming back. I've always loved that color. Blueberry bushel, another favorite blue. Berry burst. Lost lagoon. And Misty Moonlight, I was so sad when that left. I am thrilled to have that back. Um, and then we're going to look at the five new in colors. Okay. And, so that's the last, and that's the last those batch do. here. You know what's interesting about the five new in colors? Uh, people were talking about this in the group. It's really back to an 80s look. Isn't it fun that colors just kind of recycle. And if you go look, someone had posted a picture of Better Homes and Gardens magazine. They were talking about new paint colors for your home. They were these colors. And someone had posted, they went to Old Navy and bought some new t-shirts and came home without thinking about it, laid it out. <laughs> and they were these colors. <laughs> so I think things there, they're kind of called like dirtier colors. Uh, and so some people have said, oh, I don't know if I like them. I will love anything once I start playing with it. But I absolutely love the idea how Stampin' Up! is so spot on with their trends. And then just, you start looking around, you're gonna see all these colors and then you mix them up with the others. So it's pretty wonderful. You know, dirty is really a, a good word because a baseball pitcher that is really striking guys out, mm -hmm. called dirty. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even, I'd heard that, but I didn't know what it meant. Cause in the old days it would mean they were cheating or something, but it's no, not, but now it's is, like, they're, they're now it's so just good. like um, yep. authentic. So anyway, these are what the new, designer series paper packs look like in the in color. And of course these come in all the, all the different colors. So I'm not going to open the others, but, but these are, you know, each year they have a new set of designs. So these are the ones for that. Mm -hmm. And then I have the ink colors and I'm going to, we're going to lay these colors out. So now I think you can really see what I mean. Because they are, they're all kind of little muddied or dirty or, you know, kind of whatever you'd call them. I love them. I personally think these are going to be so cool to work with. Um, so it's going to be really fun to play with that. What's another word for, not muted, but there's... I'd say mute. muted is a good word. Yeah, some people were saying they... Oh, see, I love wild wheat. I think when I... Ah, I mean, I'm going to love all these colors. So whatever I'm going to make in the next, uh, like tomorrow, I'm going, I'm going to make some things. I'm going to use new colors. So I, I will I will have to mm. do something and post ribbons. something. Oh, and these are all the colors in ribbons. 
And of course, once you start seeing them blended with other things, and then of course we've got the blends and we have the Sample Rate markers, which have also been changed. So we'll talk about that in upcoming videos. I just, um, so this is just kind of a quick little tour. This is so fun. And um, I don't know which one I'm going to play with first. I don't know, I have some ideas. I think I'll put up a post about that. So, okay, someone said you saw a new Pottery Barn catalog the other day. Yep, and these new colors are right on trend. So I think that is really fun. And of course, if you don't like the colors, you don't have to be on trend. I mean, that's not the goal for many of us to be on trend, but I love that we have the offerings to be on trend. And I just love going with new looks and new things. Earthy colors, love that too, Wanda. That's a really good, um, um, oh, uh, Janice, Sarah's husband called the new week color baby poop color, but I don't mind that color. No, and I think it'll be fun paired with other things. Yes, you can buy assortment of colored papers. That really a good question. Thank you for asking that, Linda. You can get um, paper packs, uh, so you can get like all the new in colors together, and then there's paper packs of other returning colors. So that's all also helpful. So just remember, ask me if you need the catalog, and um, ask me if you have other questions, and we will. Just move on and have a wonderful, wonderful Easter weekend. And thank you for yes. being part of our life.